<laughs> I'm here to talk Townsend, Max, because you know she discovered Townsend after she discovered you. Mm. Why does the one guy go and forge a spatula to use it to flip his Johnny Cakes? And why does the other guy use a food processor? And I'm like, well, Pilar, you know, they're going for different things here. And I don't know. I said, but you know what? I'm going to ask him. Yeah. So, so can we talk about the T word? Can we, can we, can we broach the T word? I'm here again, here with Max Miller, insanely popular YouTube host, uh, YouTube host of Tasting History. And now one of the, with one of the best selling cookbooks, Tasting History. I don't know what the T word is. So yeah, broach away. It's Townsend. <laughs> can All we right. talk Townsend? <laughs> yes. I'm here to talk Townsend, Max. So my wife and I, we have this ongoing debate, right? Because you know she discovered Townsend after she discovered you, mm. and um, she's like, "Well, why does the one guy go and forge a spatula to use it to flip his Johnny cakes, and why does the other guy use a food processor?" And I'm like, "Well, Pilar, you know they're going for different things here." She's like, "Yeah, but how come the other guy uses a mortar and pestle to like do a field of grain, and the other guy uses?" A... I don't know. I said, "But you know what? I'm gonna ask him." Yeah. So I, you know, I do love the spirit of, of Townsend. Uh, I love the fact that he goes out and builds a house out of logs that he grew from saplings, and you know what I mean. I mean, he's like into it. So, do other people ask you, you know, hey, why do you use a food processor? Why do you use an oven? Why don't you be like, you know, be like Townsend and like, you know, build a beehive oven to do your bread? So, yeah. anyway, like, just curious. So, um, I, I, I think part of it is. One, the difference in in what we cover, mm -hmm. um, you know, Townsend, we, we, we've talked on this a, a few times, he is 18th century and mm -hmm. early 19th century in America. So he has right. one kind of set of, the kitchen was the kitchen at that time. Whereas I cover ancient Babylon, 1940s, you know, ancient, China, all of these places. So the cooking in instruments would be, I would have to have a dozen kitchens uh, at, at the ready. So it's just not, not really feasible. But I think that, so when he started his channel, it was not a cooking channel. <clears throat> he comes from a background since the, I think since the seventies, his father started a company that is all about selling stuff for reenactors. Mm -hmm. So it was about reenacting things, and the channel was a way to get the word out about that company, about Townsend and & Son and reenactors, uh, tools, and, and things like that. So he is going to reenact things as they would have been done in the 18th century. That's the point of the show, and sometimes that is cooking. Whereas mine is... I want you to make this stuff at home, in your mm. in your house. That's Great. the point of my show. And part Hence of that, cookbook. part of that is by, I want to say it's by design, but it's more by the limitations of March 2020 when I started mm. my channel. Mm. I had trouble getting flour, <laughs> let alone. <laughs> Um, you know, being able to go out, I couldn't leave the house. So it was all about cooking in my little tiny kitchen with regular things that I could find at the store at a time when the shelves were bare. Um, and so it's just stayed that way. And seeing people make these things at home in their kitchen, uh, I it's one of my favorite things to to watch. And so. I've, I've just kept that. Now, there are times, like, uh, I did an episode on the history of the luau where I went to Hawaii and watched it actually kind of done in the ground in an emu. Uh, I went to Morocco to see how uh, the uh, a certain dish was made there in the sands of the Sahara. But for the most part, when I'm filming at home, I'm filming at home uh, in, my, in my kitchen, and that's the point of the show because I want people to be able to, to recreate it. Now, sometimes I have ingredients that are a little off the wall, but um, 
it's the ingredients rather than than the methods. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That makes complete sense to me. Yeah, I mean, I think Townsend is more of a more comprehensive 18th life in 18th century. Yes. Hence, you know, the building of the homes and all of that. Stuff. Yeah. Hey, if you like what you hear, like and subscribe. It really means a lot, and we would love to have you coming back every week. Thank you.